here at Bath Visor TV. I'm Visor and I'm Alistair and we're here for season three episode number five. As you can see we are wearing the same shirts. This is our fifth episode of today. So we might look a bit tired but like you know we're going ham. Like, All because know, we love you. We, yeah, we love you guys so you know you know we found time both of us you know on schedule to meet so like today was a good day. We, we wanted to get down as much as episodes as we can. So we succeeded. We go, we're, we're about to get down half a season just in one day so you know. Just wanted to props put that to out there. Props to us. Props to us. And props to you guys. <laughs> so, um, quick recap. Um, Theon got betrayed by that guy who we thought was a sister spy, but he wasn't. He was some creepy guy who brought him back to the torture place. Daenerys Targaryen was uh, victorious. A beast. She was a beast. Like, victorious. She has an army. She has dragons. She's fucking shit up. And the Night Watch is fucked. The Night Watch is completely fucked. Like, there's internal conflict, like, God knows what's gonna happen there, it's a complete mess. And this is, like, the worst timing to do it, because yeah. the White Walkers, and then there's the, uh, the Wildling, the wildling as well, like, so, worst timing to be worst, doing this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sansa and that Mar- Mar- Marjorie, Marjorie yeah. she, she's, they're becoming friends, she's, like, wanna become king, queen, you could do anything, um... A little finger wants to take her to the Eyrie. That's where he's heading. But Varys and the grandmother are concerned, so they may stop. They may stop him. Who knows? And yeah, and, Jin, and then Jamie, you know, again, he lost his arm. He's dep- lost his hand. He's depressed. But him and that uh, uh, Brienne, she's getting there. They're, they're getting pretty close. Like you know, like are they developed feelings? I like, I like what's going on. I like that. I like that. So you know, without further ado, let's jump right in. Episode five. Let's go. Want to fight? He gets pretty confident to like. Oh. So Cast your light upon us. Lord of light, defend us! Show us the truth. Strike this man down if he is guilty. Give strength to his sword if he is true. Lord of light, (coughs) give us wisdom. For the night is dark and full of terror. The red hair check. Oh, well, they're our followers, so... Is it like a line? The night is like a bird in his mouth. Ah, leash. He's fighting, right? What the heck? Did he just produce fire? Oh no, he's immune, he's vulnerable to fire. Oh, that's so true. That's why he, he escaped from the war, he's like, fuck this. Let's keep swinging it into his face. He didn't like that. Uh, uh, ice burning! He's still stronger, but he's just trying to fight. Strength I'll give him, but like skills. Skills and that fire vulnerability they have him. Oh. Lord of the Light guy is actually the real deal? 
Yes. What the fuck? Yo, bring back Ned Stark. Or you have to do like instantly. Oh, damn. Fuck. I don't know. Rose. Why? You're still a crow. Time you proved yourself. Oh, I get it. You could have swore some vows. Give me a I want you to break them. Oh. I want you to see me. Oh. Okay. Oh. She is down for some action. Are you gonna do it, John? Did you do it? I'm doing hard work, the hell? <laughs> I swear to God. I swore oath, okay? I, I, I was... Shut up. Shut Oh, uh, that's funny. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? No, I know he's not gonna do it. Let's see what. Oh shit. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, he's doing it! John! Did you get it? Well, technically he's not a... He's not, he's not a nice watch anymore, right? He's a traitor? Yeah, I'm not a boy. Why are you so dressed? Why are you so dressed? You don't think John Snow. Oh! Oh. <laughs> well, it's official, guys. Jon Snow is not a virgin. Is your mouth? Awesome. Is Jon Snow leaving the fucking uh, Night's Watch was the best thing, best decision of his life? <laughs> Yo, you're chilling in a fucking resort, banging the hot chick. I don't feel sorry for him anymore. Oh, they, they got him back in off. give you the king's player. Pick him up, Locke. Oh, they finally got him back. And your sister. Oh, he thinks he's dead. Look at his face. How can I put this? Your sister... ...is alive and well. <sighs> Your father's forces prevail. Oh, fucking troll, look at his face with a sense of the relief he has. Jeremy himself. isn't well. Look at that. Take him to Kyburn. I don't know, what a troll. <laughs> he wants to go through with it. Nothing that thing in that face. Man, it's fucked up. Well, this seems like I'm dead. to free your enemies. In war, you kill your enemies. Did your father not teach her that boy? Oh. Leave him. Good. What's this piece of shit? They get it, they run it back, but like... This, this is Leave me to the king. He was... Escort Lord Karstark to the dungeon. Hang the rest. Mercy, sire! I, I didn't kill anyone! I only watched for the guards! This one was only the watcher. Hang him last so he can watch the others die. Please, please don't! They made oh. me do it! They made me! They made me! Fuck. Oh. oh shit, he's going over there. We can't cast that. Like, he does I don't give a shit. Lord of Carvel. They were stopping him, were they? Here in sight of gods and men, I sentence you to die. Would you speak a final word? Kill me and be cursed! You are no king of mine. I don't know if I have a good idea or not, man. 
Oh, his mom is warning him. What if his men turn on? I want to see her. Oh, he has a daughter? Really? You are a king. You don't need my permission. What the hell is your daughter? Are they gonna do it? There's another pub. <laughs> this one suits me fine. Oh my god, what are you doing? Feels trip right there. Princess, yeah, was there God, what are you doing? Is that to remind them what they are? Vernon. Hezir Broza, Jeve Gemele, Drevelitas. Menteri, Evanye, Evestelitas, Keskido, Sogamagon. Gadbaga, Ohe, Gregogas. Avi Hoskas, Lue, Broze, Evestelitas. Munya, Ao, Teptas, Lue, Brozi, Ia, Milie, Tolie. Orkonodo o kaspezi, same broji beri. Shi broji es bezo senestas kim broto. Kuinile shi broji melezesko mazedas terari va bustar. I torkonodo saji broji es bezi ejitovi. Deneris germazmo, shi teptas, shi terve. That's quite the reason. I'm going to take their home away from them. Can you do it? I need men to replace the Karstarks who marched home. There is only one person in this kingdom with that kind of army who hasn't already sided with the Lannisters. <laughs> the man whose daughter I was supposed to marry. Walder Frey. Why would he help you? Hmm. Why would he go to the guy who, like, who you refused to marry thought? He's such a splendid... And how do we do that? We find Sansa Stark a different husband. Wonderful. Yes, it is. Wait, what? Him? You can't mean it. I what the fuck? No, Joffrey has made this poor girl's life miserable since the day he took her father's head. 
Now she's finally free of him and you give her to me? That's cruel, even for you. You intend on mistreating her? The girl's happiness is not my concern, nor should it be yours. She's a child! I was wed. Oh. Oh, don't you remember? Oh. Only too well. Oh. You should be thanking the gods for this. This is more than you deserve. Oh, Tyrion will do as he's bid. <laughs> as will you. <clears throat> What do you mean? They all marry Sir Loras. Who? I mean... I will not. The boy's what? heir to High Garden. Tyrion will secure the North. You will secure the region. Really. No, I won't do it. Yes, you will. You're still fertile. You need to marry again and breathe. I am Queen Regent, not some brood man. You're my daughter! You will do as I command, and you will marry Loras Tyrell. And put an end to the disgusting rumours about you. Once and for all. Oh. Father, don't make me do it again, please. Not another word. My children. Shit. You disgraced the Lannister name for far too long. What do you get from me, a bitch? So this meeting was this basically marriage. You're, you're getting married to Sansa. You're getting married to Loras. And have fun. The what the fuck? Man, Tywin. Yeah, man. Oh Ty my god. Yo, Tywin ain't fucking around. Like, he, he, he is legit. He's like, yo, like, you know, you're fucking the Lannister name. Let's get this shit straight. So, guys, <laughs> there's gonna be quite a lot of marriages happening. So, Sansa. Sansa's marrying Tyrion. Might marry Tyrion. Probably not, but. Well, we don't know how it's gonna go down, but right now it's like the. the Tywin's like, you're marrying fucking Sansa. And the queen's gonna marry the brother, uh, I think his name is Lawrence Tyrell. Loras, Loras Tyrell. Loras yeah. Tyrell. So she, Cersei's marrying Loras. Sansa's gonna be... So, like, wait. So, like, they don't want... So Tywin's basically, like, he's like, the one access to the north is Sansa. Yeah. So they're trying to steal that away from the Lannisters. But Tywin's like, that ain't happening on my watch. So... He, you're gonna marry her. You, you're gonna have a child with her. I think it's disgusting. She's like what? She's like a teenager. For him, it's all politics. Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. He even said, "Is I don't care about Sansa's happiness." Fuck, man. And then Cersei's marrying Loras because he's like, he's like, I want these disgusting rumors to end about the incest. Little does he know. Oh my god! It's like it's just, that's fucked up because I. I, I, at first, I was like, I thought Tywin was like all about. I thought I thought he knew about it. So you know, he was all about a family name. But man, he's like, he, he's actually like, that's fucking disgusting. Shit! <laughs> and if he actually knew it was true, <laughs> oh, I think it, I think he literally kill him. I, kill him. <laughs> for, for who sure. knows what he would no, do? No, just, knowing him, this dude is a savage. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. We have the uh, the fight in the beginning. So it started off with this is a good fight. Um, this uh, the Eric fought the Hound. And the uh, hound won. The hound won, so that means he wasn't guilty. I, I I believe he wasn't guilty. He was just you know following orders. But man, he. But here's the thing: he died. But this Lord of the Light thing actually brought him back alive six times. Okay, so this Lord of the Light thing is real. So so okay. So now That's the real. Lord of the Light could see like what see into the fire, see the future. It could also bring people back to life. Like holy shit! When I heard like it was, there's a red priestess thing that know how to bring people back to life. Like you know, like the people who follow this Lord of the Light, does everybody possess this power? You know, when I heard that they can bring people back to life, I'm like the first person I thought, Nestor. Yeah, no, I said it too. Yeah. Like yo, Nestor, bring you back to life. But man, so that's that. So like, this is interesting now. People could be brought back to life. So, like, how's that gonna play in the future? Like, like everybody related to this Lord of the Light thing. Has the power to bring people back to life, or like do you have to learn it? Like, what's up with that? Yeah. So like, he brought he was brought it back to life six times. So that's interesting. <laughs> Jon Snow lost his V card. <laughs> Jon Snow is not a virgin anymore, ladies and gentlemen. So that that made me happy. I don't care. What <laughs> he he broke his vows, but did he? Because he, he's not. He's not like he's not. He's not part of the Night's Watch anymore. He's so. a traitor. He's a traitor. He's right? a traitor. So you know, I I think him being a traitor. I think I think him getting lost was the best thing that happened to him. <laughs> he avoided all that bullshit <laughs> that's happening at the Night's Watch, and it, hey man, he's he's sleeping with a pretty lady. You know, people like uh, those wildlings actually like him. Like they're like, I like you, boys, so, but tell me the truth and shit. So, so shit, man. Yo, Jon Snow's living a life. Good for him, man. He had a, you know. He, he had a shitty time. He, he is living life right now. 
Um, Arya, the blacksmith, uh, Rob's, Robert's uh, bastard. That had a really, uh, you know, it was a nice, uh, sweet little moment they had. Where, you know, blacksmith's like, I feel, I want to stay with the brotherhood. Even though it's risky because everybody wants the brotherhood dead. But, you know, the blacksmith's like, but why, you know, why did he want to stay with them? He, he's like, he's like, no, he said, he said, he said, um, he's like, that. it feels like family. Remember? Yeah, I remember him saying that. And, then, and that, I think that's the reason he wants to stay. That's his main reason? What about Arya? Isn't he, she like a little sister? Yeah, like, that's what she said. She's like, uh, she's like I could be family. And that, that, that was, that was really touching. I'm like, oh, but like. No, you'll like, be my lady. You'll be my lady. That's what he said. So, 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 so what? Now, now she's, she's going to be solo now? No, no, she's still with those blood. She's still with those people. They're gonna take her to Rob, right, for a bunch of gold. So that she's like, "Am I your hostage?" Technically, so that's not bad. You get to reunite with your brother. So I don't know. Like, I, I would just stay. Like, if I was Arya, I'd stay with them. Like, you know, reunite re- you know, with my brother and mother, right? Yeah. So. Ah, uh, those Lannister kids that oh, were that were captured, bro. They, they didn't do nothing. They didn't do anything. And that fucking guy for vengeance, he stabbed the little kids, man. They're like. 14, 13 years old, they stabbed them in their sleep. Man, that you guy... You your heart is a piece of shit for Fuck killing that. kids like that, he man. He killed kids just for vengeance? Whoa, vengeance. Like, what is his vengeance? Like, I know you. He, he kept going on about his son being strangled by Jamie. So he's, so in his brain, he's just like, oh, if I kill any Lannister, I'm going to feel satisfied. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, like, what, like you know, you're fighting a war. And, and, then, and then everybody... And then Rob executed him. And and then his yeah. mom and his mom and everybody was like, "Don't do it! Don't do it! All these men are gonna leave." Yo, what do you think? You think that was right, right move by by uh, Rob to kill him? It's like okay, like like I get like he it was basically treason. He's like, y- "You're killing!" Like first of all, you you were told not to kill them. Like you know, they're 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 more or less hostages. Those Lannisters, not high level hostages, but like, don't kill him. He 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 did it on his own. Like so that so that is like under the whole treason definition, right? So, so in that sense, yes, he does deserve to be killed. But like, you gotta look into the the whole fucking uh, situation. Like, like, if I'm looking at the situation, like his mom and everybody, was, and, and even the wife, he, he was telling him, he's like, hey, if you kill him, half like half your army is like his men, and they're gonna leave. And that, and Rob still went with it. He killed him, and half his army went. And now he's in a shitty situation. And now, now, now he lost half his army. Even Tywin was like, Rob, he's like, he lost half his army, you know? Like, I, I, literally, he, he doesn't have to do anything. They're self-destructing. Everything's going to shit for them. Their whole, like, it's, they're winning wars. It started off so well, and now they're just like, everything's just fucking falling apart for them. And also, oh, like, and, 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 and then Rob came up with a plan. He's just like, like, when he was talking to his wife, he's like, let's team up with, with that guy who, whose daughter he had to marry. Uh, what, like, like, uh, what, kind of, what kind of plan is this? It's not even, it's not even that. First of all, you can the deal. The deal. You broke your oath with that guy, and you think he's gonna give you his army? But how's that supposed to work? Like, why the fuck with that guy? He's like, you broke the oath. Like, like, get the fuck out of here. Exactly. No. Like, 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 that's his genius plan. Like, to meet up, with, to go with that guy who, who's, whose daughter you, you were supposed to marry. But, but then again, is. if he, if he thought it was a bad idea, then he would have brought it up. You must yeah, no, like I don't, I don't know how that like they gotta offer that guy something to like you know like he's gotta offer her, they gotta come up with something. There's like how are they gonna convince him? Like that convincing, I want to see. Like how, like that guy looked like an old grumpy guy, so I don't know how the fuck he's gonna be convinced yeah, to like, like you know give his army for like your cause even though you like broke your oath. So yeah, I don't we'll know. We'll see how that play out. Um, what do we have next? Oh, then we had this Jamie Lannister scene. Where like when Brienne she was like yeah, she was having a bath and then he, he just stripped and she was like all not looking and shit she's like you could you could you could use another bath and then he's like no I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bath in this one <laughs> and then he was opening up to her he was talking about his past he was talking about like the you know the Mad King or, and the reasoning as to why he killed him like the Mad King like he was telling her fucked up shit like what like what do I got here he's like he's like like the Mad King was like asking him to kill his own father you know. We'll just be like, okay. Yeah, like, even though you are, you are like, you're supposed to listen to the Mad King, but you know, you're like, he 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 told him to ki- kill his own father, and then and then he's like, burn them all, burn them all. But he, he, I think wildfire was everywhere in the city. He wanted to burn everything. Yeah, dude went mental. So then, so then what happened was like he said he he killed him. He's like, I, I just fucking stabbed him. And then he's like, and then, back, yeah. and then he's like, Ned Stark, uh, Ned Stark saw me, and Ned Stark, this being this honorable man, like, 
after he saw me, he's, he's, he's never looked at me the right way. He's always looked at me as this disgrace. And then Brianna was like, she, she starts telling him, so why didn't you tell me? You know, he, he, just, he just kept it to himself. So, man, I'm starting to feel really bad for Jamie. Like, I, I don't know. Like, should, shit. I, should I feel bad for Jamie or should I like, not I mean, feel bad for Jamie? He, he did fucked up shit, but like, I'm starting to like, just, I'm sort of feeling for him, man, you know? The dude lost his hand, like, fuck, man, I don't know how to feel because I hated that guy in season one. I fucking hated him. But now I'm just like... And season two. And yeah, more or less some of season two I as well, yeah. But now I'm just like... like I'm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this, you know? Like, he he, like, he had his own story. He's been... Like, you know, King Slayer gets to him. He already admitted to that. So, fuck, man. Like, I don't know. Like, it kind of got me on the feels. Like, I didn't expect that. What else happened? Stannis, uh, Stannis' wife knew about the fire priestess. So she's like a fanatic as well. <laughs> So can she bring people back to life? Like, what's going on here? And Stannis has a, has a daughter. Oh, yeah. She's this really sweet girl. But, yo, is her face, like, burnt or some shit? Like, I thought, I, I thought, like, it looked bur- I, I thought, thought it was burnt. It looked like dragon scales at the same time. It looked like scales as well, yeah. It looked yeah. like scales. All right, what else happened? Um, I think we got from Daenerys. She was talking to the slaves. She was, she was like, she gave them new names, but they didn't take it. They take it because when they were, you know, when they decided to side yeah. with her, it was that with that same name, you know. So yeah, so they're like that name is lucky to me. So like, I'll... That, that was awesome. That was an awesome scene. Yeah, he's just like you know, Grey Worm. I think that's what he's called. He's like, I'm gonna keep that name. So um, uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have that that gay guy. Uh, is actually Littlefinger a spy? Yeah, he's a Littlefinger spy, and he and, and he told him and he told him that he's like uh, that Loras is supposed to marry Sansa. So shit, and, and then he went up to Sansa, and then Sansa was like, she doesn't want to leave anymore. Littlefinger didn't really force it, but he's like, whatever you want to do, but like, it's like, you know? So, like, oh, so did, I, I, no, I'm starting to think, did Littlefinger tell Tywin about, about the marriage? Because he had spies? Like, is that, is that uh, what happened? Because he found out from that, from that spy, right? And then... Did, did Littlefinger tell Oh, Tyler? that's what you mean. Like, that's what... No, I, just, I just realized that. Like, is, is that how it went? So he's just, like... He's just basically using a spy and telling Tywin. Hmm. So, I, I don't know what Littlefinger is fucking up to, man. I, I actually don't know what he's up he's to. He's a dangerous man. He's a dangerous man, that's what they say. So, all in all, this was a great episode. Enjoyed it. Guys, it's that time again. Who's gonna be our MVP for this episode? And who's gonna be the flop of this episode? So MVP, I'm gonna give it to Jon Snow. <laughs> Straight up, the guy lost his V card. You know, he's chilling. He's chilling. He's he's chilling. Chillin'. He has a beautiful woman with him. You know, he's in a cave that looks awesome. He's not in that whole nice watch mess right now. You know, like he, he left. I think, like he said, that him getting lost was the best thing that ever happened. It was a blessing in disguise. <laughs> like honestly, I might just give it to him just because he lost his virginity. <laughs> No, no, don't no. judge us, Miras. Don't judge us. Like, <laughs> I don't see nobody else have that much of an impact. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care either, guys. We're going to give it to Jon Snow for losing his virginity. <laughs> you made us believe. Put clothes on our backs. You sacrificed for us. You're the real MVP. All right, guys. We're going to do the flop of this episode. Everybody do the flop. I think it's that guy, that piece of shit guy that killed the two kids. Killed the kids, got himself fucking executed. He had no reason to kill the kids. Vengeance. Like, come on. Vengeance. Do you feel satisfied killing these innocent little kids? And then you got our head chopped off? You know, men with pride. There's there's good pride, but then there's stupid pride. It's not even pride. It's just like he's just stupid. He just wants vengeance. He just wants vengeance. And and he thought killing anything that has a lineage name, even if his fucking kids would like bring him that satisfaction, wouldn't. No, but no. it didn't. You know what it brought? Your head fucking got rolled over because you got your head chopped off, and you are the flop of today's episode. Right. Thank you guys for joining us on this bench. It's been a five episode day, so we are. I'm like sweating here. <laughs> Hopefully, we weren't too tired at some for episode, so you know, just forgive us for that. Yeah, guys. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You watch five episodes for you guys because we love you. So. Uh, Stay tuned, this is Alistair and Pfizer. Peace out.